Hello everyone, this is Halushin. One of the biggest strengths of Town of Salem is the large variety of roles and factions that it comes with. The selection of roles is so big, that it's fairly hard to find each game under a diverse role list to be predictable. However, one part of the game that is very predictable is the water wheel. It has the same animation, stops the same way, and has multiple aspects about its behavior that make it even less exciting to look at. Despite the animation and everything about it not looking bad, it still is very predictable for a screen that's meant to be kind of similar to a slot machine. Given the recent rise of modding in Town of Salem, I've decided to make my own attempt to improve the game. And today, I bring you the improved water wheel mod. Before I talk about what this mod does, let's first talk about how the vanilla water wheel works. This scene is handled by playing a single animation that handles everything, starting from the girl pulling back the water wheel up until the final screen wipe, which starts the first day. It is a static animation that doesn't change except for the little scroll animation that plays if your scroll was consumed. The most procedural part of the animation are the rolls that appear on the water wheel. As you might have guessed, the Town of Salem game running on your device already knows what your real role is before you actually get to see it. This animation is used to bring suspense before it is revealed. So the slot that the animation will inevitably land on is set to the role you are getting. However, these other fake slots do possess multiple clues about your role as well. The Town of Salem servers send a list of role lots to your device. The role lots are a list of roles, the lots you have for each role, and the total lots everyone has for each role. Each lot represents your chance of getting each role. The game shows you this information for each role's percentage, which by the way, are not your actual odds of getting that role. Anyway, the list of role lots only contains the list of roles that are possible with your role list. You aren't going to see which show up on the water wheel while playing classic. However, here's where it gets interesting. First of all, the server is the one responsible for randomizing the list of roles. But it very obviously isn't randomized, because you can see that all mafia roles often appear together. Because the fake slots continue after the real one, you can sometimes find yourself getting town while being surrounded by a bunch of fake mafia slots. Second of all, the list of roles gets looped until all the fake slots are populated. This means that if you play a role list with less diversity, you can see the same roles that appear in the beginning of the animation in the same order at the end of the animation, with your real role shining through it. But the most important interesting point is that Town of Salem intentionally removes your real role from all the fake slots. If you flip that logic around, it means that every fake slot shows the role you are not going to get. Confirmed. So if I see Jailer appear in the beginning of the animation, it means I'm not Jailer. All of these aspects of the water wheel kind of ruin it even more. Isn't this supposed to be a thing that keeps you on your toes? Because with how limited the random here is, this just doesn't feel exciting at all. So here's what my mod does. My mod completely replaces the vanilla water wheel animation. The most obvious change being that the water wheel is now unpredictable. Because the wheel is now truly random, the girl next to it can spin it a small amount or a large amount, or maybe something unexpected. On top of that, the wheel can stop anywhere, even if it looks like the arrow might point at another roll, tricking your expectations. If you land on a roll that you were scrolling for, the usual scroll animation will play. But I've also added a counter that lets you know how many scrolls of that roll you still have left. The rolls on slots that appear are random as well. In fact, most of them use your roll lots to determine their spawn rate, which means the roll you are scrolling for will appear more on the water wheel. What's more, your actual roll does not get removed from the fake slots of the water wheel, so you can't use that to deduce your roll. To bring a bit more variety to the water wheel, there is a consecutive 50% chance for a group to appear on the water wheel instead. 
This is done merely to try and emulate the feel of the vanilla water wheel a slight bit, but is also done for fun. A role group can either be an entire alignment, like for example, Old Town Protective Rolls together, it can be an investigator result, or in rare cases, it can be an entire faction. If a role group spawns, there is another 50% chance for another role group to spawn, up to a maximum of 20. A role group can also contain the actual role you will land on. So yeah, it's not immune to that either. Also, there is an even rarer easter egg that can spawn, which are called blabs. A blab has a 0.1% chance to spawn on each slot, except for your actual role. It's just a bit of random text and you cannot land on it. Aside from the roll slots themselves, the water wheel girl has a chance of spinning the wheel again before it's landed. There are two types of these respins. An immediate respin and a delayed respin. I won't show them here, I'll let you see them on your own, but an immediate respin has a 5% chance of spawning but a delayed respin has a 0.2% chance of spawning. By the way, both of those are independent and consecutive. This means that you can get more than one immediate or delayed respin, and you can also get multiple of them at once. All of these additions are here to make this scene less repetitive. Over the course of playing Town of Salem, you get to see this scene a lot, which is why I believed that it needs to be more exciting. The odds displayed on each roll are different as well. By default, Town of Salem displays your lots divided by total lots as your chance of getting each roll. In other words, if there is an escort roll and you have 10 lots, while the total is 150, then you have a 6.7% chance to get it. Uh, kinda. The percentage does not account for many things. For example, which roll gets assigned first? Let's say the game picks who gets to be Jailer, and your chance of becoming a Jailer is 1 in 15. Then Escort gets picked second. In that case, not only is your chance of getting Escort not 1 in 15, but you also have a 1 in 15 chance to have been picked for Jailer, meaning you wouldn't get Escort. Also, if you have a role that only shows up through what I call a role group, the chance of it even appearing is even lower. To account for that, my mod introduces odds modes, of which there are two right now, that give you a better perspective of what your chance is of getting each roll. To calculate the chance of you getting each roll, my mod checks the roll list you are playing. For example, if you play the current season's ranked roll list, you have a much higher chance to get Jailer than Retributionist, and you also have a higher chance to get Sheriff than Retributionist too. The new odds displayed on the water wheel will reflect that too, but they aren't very accurate. The order of getting the roll is not accounted for. There is some support for unique rolls, but not full support. And the calculator isn't aware of the special rules for the Mafia, and it doesn't know that the Vampire Hunter only spawns with vampires present. Despite that, it should give you a better representation of your chance to get every roll. If you don't like this part, you can turn it off by changing the settings. The settings can be edited by file. You can find it in the data folder of the game under Halesian and another data folder. The file is named IWW underscore settings. There are currently five settings the mod supports. The first one is odds mode and can be set to either 1 or 2, where 2 is this new chance calculation added by the mod in 1 is a default of Town of Salem. You can also set the setting called Disabled to True if you want to disable the mod without actually uninstalling it. The final three settings all relate to the debugging of the mod, and I recommend keeping them the way they are by default. I hope that in the future I add UI support for these settings. Because I am replacing the entire animation, the water wheel scene isn't the only thing that's being replaced. This screen is also different. When you land on your roll, you are shown your roll and that's it. So I've decided to add more information here. The first part is your roll card, which is usually only seen during the game. 
I just don't understand why you aren't shown this before the actual game. Like, it'd help you to learn more about your role, right? All players are given roughly 20 seconds to be here, and with how frequently it shows up, it serves you well to see more information, especially for new players. The second and the last addition is this bit of text, which displays your position in the game. I don't think it's that beneficial, so I thought it wouldn't be too bad to add. There was more stuff that I wanted to add here, because you could do so much more with it. Like if you're Mafia or Coven, I thought of showing who your teammates are. You could also modify your will on this screen, which would be useful for these 20 seconds. But I think these two additions are too cheaty, knowing that most of the other players will not have this mod. And yeah, that's it. After the 20 seconds are out, the scene moves away. I wanted to use the fire animation that Town of Salem uses, but I couldn't find a way to get it working. Unfortunately, I don't have the Unity animator to help me here. So, how do you install this mod? To install this mod, you have to play the game on Steam. This isn't a browser extension, so it doesn't work for the browser version. And modding the phone version... I'm not even sure that's possible, to be honest. So yeah, if you play on Steam, go to the GitHub page linked in the description and download the latest release. It should be a zip file. Then on Steam, pull up Town of Salem from your library and click the gear icon on the right. Then go to Manage and click Browse Local Files. Take the contents of that zip file you downloaded earlier and extract it into the folder that you just opened. It should write into each folder and not completely overwrite it. The mod runs on Bepin X5, so you will install both by following this tutorial. Once you're done, open Town of Salem. You can confirm that my mod works by either playing a game or by checking the game folder you opened earlier. In the Bepin X folder, there should be a log output file. Open that with a text editor and you should see the line Unpredictable Water Wheel has been activated. If you can't find this line, then everything works. Good job, the mod is installed. If you encounter any issues, please make sure to save the log of the game by copying the log output file and reach out to me with it on the Discord server linked below. There are some rare bugs that I've seen but haven't figured out yet, so any help that would let me better understand the bugs would be of great value. The improved water wheel mod is compatible with Curtis's quality of life mod, which, by the way, is an independent mod that you have to install into the game. I have tried playing with both and saw no issue. My mod is also compatible with Tuba Antics's upcoming Better Town of Salem mod. If after playing with my mod you encounter any issues, please report them to my Discord server linked in the description. Thank you for watching. Check out the other Town of Salem mods made by Tuba Antics and Curtis in the description, and have a nice day.